Hi guys, this week I'll be teaching you some tips and tricks when you're using print and strings in Python. Let's get started. So first, are you still adding strings and values in a print function like this? Print, so let's say the number is 2. Um, the number is, let's run this. Okay, the number is working. And then plus, and then 2. And then you have, since the 2, it's not a string because it's a integer. You have to make it a string with the str. And then now it says the number is 2. And then you have to add a space here. So if you want an easier way to do this, is to use a comma. So the number is, not my first space anymore, comma, and then 2. Alright, now it will print out the number is 2. Even if you don't make the number 2 integer into a string, and it adds an extra space for you. So what if you want to change the space into another character, let's say we want to change it to a zero. So let's do another comma, then set, just separate, equals, then put it inside the quotes here. Let's stay a zero. We wanna the space will become a zero. So instead of a space, it becomes a zero. And you can put anything you want here. So let's just say three dashes and then let's add another value or string here, number two, and then Let's say, let's say number two in string, and then a comma, and then now the number is here, the number is, then comma, which adds the three dashes, then two, then another three dashes, because of another comma here, and then the string number two. And let's say, for example, let's put back to number is two, then you have another string here yay yeah, and then what if you want to connect these two print functions well you can use the end function here so end equals then let's say you want a space in between so space and now number two space yay yeah, hey. so supposedly if you don't have this end so, so um, um there would be no space Right, right. There be no, there'll be no space, and it'll be in different lines. So you can use the end function here. I'm gonna explain it. There you go, and then you can add a space, space, and then it connects the two print functions. And then add a space. All right. Okay. Now, what if you want to add a space? So let's say you have a game menu. Say so welcome to my game. And another print. Uh, let's say how much money do you want? Something like that. It's just a string for now. We have an input function. And then when you run this, there's no space, right? And then if you want to add space, you can do the print function and just have space. And then as many space as you want. Here, right? And you can have three spaces and look there's three spaces now well there's an easier way to do this just using the slash n so slash then n okay wait slash n inside the string and this gives you a space so this n will give you a space now look it gives you a space so let's do add three spaces like last time so that's three slash n's and then it'll add three spaces you can also use it for different things, like using special symbols. Um, for example, you want to use the quotes, but then you remember that the quotes are being used to make a string. Well, let's try without the, without, without the slash first of quotes. Yeah, this will work, but sometimes this won't work, and then you have to add the slashes before quote so here slash quote so this makes a special character slash quote there you go and now we can ensure that it won't break all right and then there's also other functions you can use with this like um slash t which adds a tab like when you when you write something in word and you press tab it adds space well it does the same thing here 
So those are some tips and tricks you can use with the print function in strings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay curious!